Hi, we're here with uh, Dave Miller of Advanced Solar out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we're on uh, Jim Hess's farm, and uh, he did some pretty exciting things with uh, some alternative energy sources. Uh, Dave, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on here in the farm? Well, what we installed, we installed uh, two solar trackers. Um, the trackers uh, has a sensor on there that follows the sun. It actually moves with the sun across the sky. Um, it produces electricity, which offsets the power that they use on the farm. Um, when they're not at home, not using power, it actually spins the meter backwards. Uh, we also installed a wind turbine, which uh, when it's windy, that also uh, produces uh, energy. It helps out a lot more in the wintertime when, it, when it's windier. Um, combined, it, uh, it you know, greatly reduces the amount of energy that he has to purchase from MedEd. I think one of the, one of the things I was intrigued about was that, that uh, uh, he the, the uh, owners of the farm didn't just do one thing; they sort of did a whole series of things. They, uh, I believe, also put in a geothermal system for for heating. So they did geothermal, they did solar, they did uh, they did the wind turbine. Uh, any idea um, how much a percentage all this uh, this has saved them in terms of energy costs? It has cut their energy costs uh, over, it's cut it in half, uh, over half. Um, they did just put a geothermal system in. Electricity is really the only form of energy that you can generate yourself. So we put in the, the trackers and the wind turbine and he switched uh, from, from heating uh, with wood and oil to electricity by using the geothermal system. Uh, but he can generate all the electricity that he needs. And in the future, if he does want to uh, increases energy generation, he can add solar panels to uh, bring it to net zero. And you mentioned that uh, during times when when he might not be using the electricity, he can sell it back to MedEd. How does that work? It works by actually just spinning the meter backwards. Um, during the day, uh, if nobody's at home and it's sunny, it's going to spin the meter backwards all day long. And when they get home at night and start using you know, turning lights on, it's going to spin the normal way. So essentially, if it spins backwards as much as it spins front, when the meter person comes out to read the meter, it's going to say the same thing it did the month before or the day before. Uh, so that that net metering happens right on the meter. That's where you build your credits. Uh, essentially, using your meter as a battery. I think the other the other aspect here is uh, Pennsylvania has an alternative energy portfolio standard requirement, and uh, tell me a little bit about how that works in relation to particularly solar energy and the wind energy. Uh, let's start with the solar energy. The um, the way that program works, the alternative uh, the portfolio standard, the utility companies have to provide a certain amount of power from renewable sources um, because they don't have solar uh, fields of solar plants, you know, uh, solar, they're, they are required to buy the credits from people that do have uh, solar installed. Each time a system produces a megawatt of power, you're issued one credit and they can be sold back to the utility company. Um, they are selling for anywhere from, uh, in Pennsylvania, they're selling for $230 up to uh, nearly $500 per credit. Um, so you broker those back to the utility company and that you receive that as income which can be used to pay off your system. In terms of paying off system, those panels up there look pretty big. Um, any idea what the what the uh, payback period on, on this kind of a project might be? When you count in the, the electricity that it produces and the uh, renewable energy credits, uh, based on $250 per credit, the payoff on the system is less than 10 years. And uh, some systems, the payoff is less than seven years. If someone was interested in, in this kind of installation or say a homeowner for around the house, where would they start? What kind? How do you get started in looking at it, at uh, installing something like this? Uh, to bring yourself up to speed, it's great just to Google solar and uh, grid tie solar systems. Uh, there's a lot of information on the internet. Uh, you can always uh, give us a call uh, at Advanced Solar. Um, I have a cell phone. You're more than happy or more than willing to give me a call on my cell phone. It's uh, 717 598 1064.
Okay, good. Any any other words of wisdom on solar power and what Jim Hess did here? Well, the state rebates are coming out. Uh, they're saying possibly the beginning of May. Well, that's when it's expected, uh, possibly May 1st. Um, the rebates are not going to be around forever. I mean, I think it's if somebody's looking into solar, I think now is a great time. Um, that's money right back into the pocket. Uh, we can actually install systems without having to charge the customer that rebate amount, so it's an instant rebate of... Uh, up to twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars. So it's definitely, uh, if you're thinking about solar, that's it's now is the time to look into it. Very good. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.